Intensive Practice 6.1 Questions number 1 The following tables shows the experimental data involving variables x and y. Draw the graph based on the data in the tables. Then determine the graph which shows linear relations and non-linear relations. So give a reasons for your answer. So for questions A, we're going to draw the graph of y again, x. So here I'm going to use for the x axis 2 cm to 1 unit. And for the y axis, 2 cm to 2 units. So now let us plot the scale first. So now let us plot the points given in the table onto the graph. Now let us connect all the points that we plot. So the shape of the graph A is a curve and not a straight line. Therefore, the graph in questions A show a non-linear relations. Questions B. Here, based on the data, we're going to plot the graph of y squared against 1 over x. So here, for the 1 over x axis, we're going to use 2 cm to 0.1 unit. And for the y squared axis, we're going to use 2 cm to 1 unit. So now we're going to plot the scale first. So now we're going to plot the data in the tables onto the graph. Now we're going to connect all the dots that we plot. So the shape of the graph for this question P is a straight line. Therefore, the graph in these questions show linear relations. Questions number two. Based on an experiment, the values of x and of y are related as in the following table. Plot the graph of y against x and draw the lines of best fit. Then write the equations of the lines of best fit. So based on the data in the table, for the x axis, I'm going to use 2 cm to 10 units. And as for the y axis, I'm going to use 2 cm to 20 units. So now let us draw the scale first. So now let us transfer the data in the table onto the graph. So now let us draw the lines of best fit. So this is how the graph of y again x look like. The graph that we plot here is a graph of straight lines. Therefore, this graph is a linear relations graph. So to write the equations of the lines of best fit, we're going to use y equal to mx plus c. So here we need to find the information of the m, which is the gradient, and c, which is the y intercept. So based on the graph here, the y-intercept will equal to 104, which is referred to the C. And to find the gradient M, I'm going to choose two points that is on this straight line. So the first point that I'm going to choose will be the y-intercept. So the coordinate of the y-intercept will be for the x is going to be 0 and the y is 104. Another point that I'm going to choose will be these points here. So the coordinate for this point will be the x75 and for the y will be 120. So to find the m, we're going to use the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So here it will be 120 minus 104 divided by 75 minus zero so the answer for the m is equal to 16 over 75 therefore the equations of the line of best fit will be y equal to 16 over 75 x plus 104 questions number three the following table shows the reading of two variables, log base tens of x plus 1 and log base tens of y. So A, plot the graph of log base tens of y, again log base tens of x plus 1, by using a scale of 2 cm to 0.1 unit on the log base tens of x plus 1 axis and log base tens of y axis. Hence, draw the lines of best fit. So let us draw the scale first. 
So now let us plot the data in the table onto the graph. So now let us draw the lines of best fit. So this is the graph of log best tens of y against log best tens of x plus 1. Questions B from the graph finds number 1, the gradient. So to find the gradient, we need to have two points that is on these straight lines. So for this graph, the first point that you're going to choose will be this point here. And the coordinate for this point will be 0 0.65 and 0 0.8 another point that going to choose will just be the y intercept here which is the coordinate 0 and 0 0.15 now we already have two points to find the m we're going to use the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so here it will be 0 0.8 minus 0 0.15 over 0 0.65 minus 0 so solve this you'll find that the m gradient is equal to 1 number 2 the log best tens of y intercepts so from the gradient just now we already find the value of the uh, y intercept here so the value will be equal to 0 0.15 Questions number three, the value of x when log base tens of y equal to 0 0.55. So based on the graph, the log base tens of y equal to 0 0.55 will be here. So from here, we're going to draw a horizontal line until it intersects with the straight line that we plot. So from the intersection point here, we're going to draw a, a vertical straight line downward to the log base tens of x plus 1. So from here we'll find that when log base tens of y equal to 0 0.55, the value of log base tens of x plus 1 will equal to 0 0.4. So here we want to find the value of x. To solve this, I'm going to change these logarithmic forms into the index form. So you can refer to the notes here. To change the logarithmic forms into the index form. So therefore, x plus 1 will equal to 10 to the power of 0 0.4. Therefore, x is equal to 10 to the power of 0 0.4 minus 1. So solve this using a calculator and we're going to take uh, up to 4 significance figure for the answer. So x is equal to 1.4. 512. Question C. Calculate number 1 the value of y when x is equal to 2.5. So for this question C, it didn't state that it must come from the graph. Therefore, another method to find the value of y when x is equal to 2.5 is that we're going to find the equations of the straight lines of the graph that we plot. After we have the equations, we're going to substitute the value of x with 2.5 in order to find the value of y. Now, the graph that we plot is a straight line. To form the equations, we're going to use y equal to mx plus c. So the value of m and the value of c, we already find it in the questions b. So the m is equal to 1 and c is equal to 0 0.15. Now, based on the graph that we plot, the variables that is labeled at the y-axis will be the capital Y and the variable that we label at the x-axis will be the capital X. Therefore, the equations of this straight line will be log base tens of y equal to 1. So the m is equal to 1, so we just, uh, we're not going to write the number 1. So just write log base tens of x plus 1 plus 0 0.15 now to find the value of y when x equal to 2.5 we're going to substitute the x here with 2.5 therefore log base tens of y will equal to log base tens of 2.5 plus 1 plus 0 
one five. So, using your calculator, you're going to find the log base tens of three point five plus zero point five five. The answer will be zero point six nine four one. Now, to find the value of y, we're going to change this logarithm forms into the index forms. Therefore, y is equal to 10 to the power of 0 0.6941. Solve this using a calculator, you find that the y is equal to 4.9442. Questions number 2. Calculate the value of x when y equal to 1.5. So here we're going to use the equations that we find in questions 1 to solve for these questions. So here the y, value of y here, we're going to substitute it with 1.5. Therefore, log base tens of 1.5 equal to log base tens of x plus 1 plus 0 0.15. Now, using your calculator, the value of log base tens of 1.5 will be 0 0.1761. So next, I have to move this 0 0.15 to the left hand side. Therefore, log base tens of x plus 1 equal to 0 0.1761 minus 0 0.15. So the answer will be 0 0.0261. Now, to find the value of x, I'm going to change these logarithm forms into the index forms. Therefore, x plus 1 is equal to 10 to the power of 0 0.0261. So x is equal to 10 to the power of 0 0.0261 minus 1. So solve this using a calculator, you'll find that the answer is equal to 0 0.0619. Questions number 4. The result of experiments of two variables, x squared and xy, are shown in the following tables. So A, plot the graph of xy against x squared by using a scale of 2 cm to 5 units on x-axis and y-axis. Hence, draw the lines of best fit. So here, the xy is going to be the y-axis and the x squared will be the x-axis. So first we're going to draw the scale. So now we're going to transfer the data from the table onto the graph. So now we're going to draw the lines of best fit. So this is the graph of x, y again, x squared look like. Questions B from the graph finds number one, the gradients. So to find the gradient, we need two points on the graph. Therefore, the first point, I'm going to choose the y-intercept here. So the coordinates of the y-intercept here will be 0 and 7.5. Another point that I'm going to choose, I'm just going to choose the points here. So the coordinates for this point will be 25 and 30. Now, to find the gradient M, we're going to use the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So, this will be 30 minus 7.5 divided by 25 minus 0. Solve this. The answer will be 9 over 10. Number 2, the y-intercept. So from questions 1, we already determined the y-intercepts. Therefore, the value will be 7.5. Number 3, the value of x squared when xy equal to 16.5. So on the graph, xy equal to 16.5 is here. So here, we're going to draw a horizontal line until it intersect with the straight line that we plot. So now we're going to draw the vertical vertical straight lines down to the x square axis. So here the value for the x square is equal to 10. Number 4, the value of y when x is equal to 2.5.
So when you want to find the x two point equal to 2.5 from the graph, as the x is here is the x squared, therefore the value of x 2.5, we have to square it as well. Therefore, x squared is equal to 2.5 squared. So the value for this one will be equal to 6.25. So from the graph that we plot, 6.25 will be here. So we're going to draw a vertical line until it intersects with the straight line that we plot. So the value on the xy axis here is equal to 13. Therefore, xy is equal to 13. Now, the question is asking you to find the value of y. Therefore, the x here, we're going to substitute it with the x equal to 2.5. So, 2.5y equal to 13. Therefore, y is equal to 13 divided by 2.5. So, the answer will be 5.2. Question C. Calculate the value of x when xy equal to 100. Now, if you look at the graph that we plot here, for the xy axis, we only have value until 45. Therefore, we cannot find it through the graph. Now, to solve for this question C, first, we're going to form the equations of the straight line that we plot. Therefore, we're going to form the equations using y equal to mx plus c. So the variables that is placed on the y axis, which will going to be the capital Y. And the variable that is placed on the x axis will be the capital X. And from the questions B, we already find that the M is equal to 9 over 10. And the C is equal to 7.5. Therefore, the equations for this straight line will be XY equal to 9 over 10 x squared plus 7.5 now to find the value of x we just need to substitute the xy here with the value of 100 so next i'm going to move this 7.5 to the left hand side so 100 minus 7.5 is equal to 92.5 So next, I'm going to move this 9 over 10 to the left hand side. So it's going to be 92.5 divided by 9 over 10 or divided by 0 0.9. Therefore, x squared is equal to 9.25 over 9. To find the value of x, we're going to move the x to the, uh, the square to the right hand side. It will be the square root. So the answer of the square root of 925 over 9 is equal to 10.14.